Dear all, dear friends, welcome to the Yaktek Fellowship Seminars Series 1, Episode 5, organized by the Yakta IC Education Committee and the OLV Alst in Belgium. Thank you for joining us. Feel free to drop questions by typing your questions in the Q&A. The faculty will address the questions to uh, the speakers during the Q&A session at the end of uh, the third talk, so at the end of the, the seminar. And also we will not monitor the written questions in the chat box. Welcome again, and I will take the um, opportunity first to um, introduce our center. Um, my name is Stefan Boucher. I'm a cardiac anesthetist in, um, and the director of the ACTA IC Fellowship Program in Alst, Belgium. And our host center is the OLV Clinic Alst. And assuming the major part of Europe is within this square, the city of Alst is just in the center of Europe, as you can see. And uh, this is a view of the front sides of our hospital. And this hospital has a long standing history within the field of cardiac surgery. The breakthrough of cardiac surgery in Belgium actually started in our center after World War II in 1948 with a successful Blalock-Tausig procedure carried out in this center. And after the world exposition in 1958, Princess Lillian, the wife of King Leopold III, founded the Princess Lillian Foundation. And this foundation financed the first four cardiopulmonary bypass machines in Belgium. And one of these four machines was granted to our center, the OLV clinic. The introduction of this heart-lung machine enabled the start of open heart surgery in Belgium and of course also in uh, our center. The OLV clinic has gained an outstanding international reputation with names as for example, Guy Hendricks, who described for the first time the concept of myocardial stunning in 1978. Everyone knows um, Professor Brugada, Pedro Brugada, who was the head of uh, the electrophysiology department for many years in our clinic. And of course, Bernard de Bruyne, who still works here, uh, who was the first to describe the concept of fractional flow reserve in coronary artery disease. Concerning cardiac surgery, we had the privilege um, of working with Hugo van Ermen, who was and still is one of the most respected mitral valve surgeons in the world. He performed the first full thoracoscopic mitral valve repair in 1997. And Christian Barnard, um, who was intrigued by this new technique, visited the OLV clinic um, in 2001. Now, this was the last picture taken from Barnard a few days before his death. Today, most of our valve procedures are performed using minimal invasive techniques. And the hospital is also the base of the OLV Robotic Surgery Institute, dedicated to provide unique training and education to all those involved in robotic surgery. And led by one of the most experienced minimally invasive surgeons in the world, Dr. Frank van Praat. Although we're not considered a large center in terms of numbers compared to other big centers in Europe, we are proud to say that the scientific output of our heart center is excellent, even though we are a private and not a university hospital. Anyway, the OLV clinic provides the state-of-the-art facilities for a full spectrum of cardiovascular and thoracic services. And our main objective is to offer a highly scientific and clinically rigorous training program for our fellows to obtain the skills and the judgment in providing high quality healthcare. Thank you.